Apocalypse Gaming. Hey there my friends, hope everyone's well. So here I've got a wee showcase of my M3 slash M3A1 half track from Rubicon Models. Or at least that's what it would be had I painted it up in the American colours. Um, but the Lend lease variants of these um, were either M3E2s or M5s. Essentially the same vehicle, but they changed the drivetrain, they changed the engine, they changed the transmission. But on the outward appearance, they pretty much look the same. M5 armour was slightly heavier than the M3, but it's essentially the same vehicle aesthetically. So I've done it as the M3 E2 or the M5 variant. Um, now you can't see it in the photo here, but there is a little driver in there as well. Or you can't see it on the video here, you will see it in the photos. Now that little driver, you can see him when you peek through the door, but you can't see him from the front. I've stuck a wee white star on his head and I've actually painted the helmet in US Pacific green colour. Um, the idea being the helmet was left in the, the vehicle when they were shipping stuff um, and the little Soviet driver in there has grabbed it and thought I'm going to wear that because he thinks it's cool. Um, so I'm just trying to add a little bit of storyline to it, so although the vehicle itself I've painted up in Soviet colours because I didn't have any Soviet heads, I told a different story and I actually went full hog and gave it the American colours, so the green is slightly different from the Soviet green that's actually on the armour um, than, than what you'd expect, just to add that bit of storyline to it. So on the side is from my 45th regiment, my made up regiment, just like the rest of the, the Lend, Lease and Capture vehicles that I've so far did for this little force. Um, it's all hand done and the two phrases that we see is to the west and road to victory. Um, I think that one was to the west which means this one is road to victory. I'll stick up um, a couple of stills from the, the propaganda posters that I got those phrases from. Um, I'll stick those stills into the, how I painted it one as well just depending on which video you see first. You'll see them. Um, so it's been a fun little vehicle to paint. As you know I really really personally like half tracks. On the back as we can see just now on the stowage um, shelves I put one in a folded position and I put one in the open position again just to try and help tell the story and because my force has been splashing through lots of muddy rainy weather um, I've kept this one looking really quite splashed up muddy as well. Um, so again Hopefully you like them, they have been fun. If you haven't yet joined the group build, there still is time, because this is what I'm doing for the group build. The 1st of January is when it closes, so you really need to get your entry in by the 31st of December 2015, um, just in case historically you come across this video. But you can nip over to the Facebook page for Rubicon, and you'll see the group uh, build details in there, and I'll also stick a link to the video telling you the group build as well. Um, internally when we get to the photos you'll see I've put a fair amount of mud as well um, in the foot welds and some mud on the seats as well that's been worn away. Um, did a little bit of finger rubbing with that one just to try and make it as if the bum's been polishing the mud up um, so to speak. But yeah, fun kit. A um, couple of wee issues which I haven't experienced in previous Rubicon kits. The gas tanks that you see on the side um, they needed a little bit of trimming to make them fit on, um, otherwise they, they just didn't fit. You can see I'm still sitting at a slight angle, um, so they need a little bit of trimming. Um, but otherwise the kit was as usual, good clean fits, um, all the keys worked. Um, otherwise really it's a fun, easy, simple kit to build, really apart from that. Um, so again, highly recommend it, I certainly had a blast doing it. Um, the kit itself managed to build it in really no time at all, a few hours and the kit was built. Um, painting it, it didn't take long to paint it either, um, just it's a simple shape, simple easy, um, can't really say much more than that but it was good fun. So hopefully you like it. Um, Christmas is getting on so um, I should have some more videos up before Christmas, I know I'll have more videos up before Christmas. Um, in case this is the last of my videos you catch, um, Merry Christmas to you. Um, so, I think I've waffled enough, haven't I? Have I? Maybe.
Maybe he's high, maybe he's no. Aye, I've waffled enough. You take care, my friends. All the best. Apocalypse Gaming.